Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to configure a web server on ESP8266 using MicroPython but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel ok friends so let's start friends I have here a one channel relay module which connect with our ESP8266 node MCU ok so this one channel relay has uh, three pins the VCC pin, ground pin and uh, last one is input pin. So the relay VCC pin connect with node MCU 3 volt. Okay. Then ground uh, of relay connect with node MCU ground pin and uh, input pin of no, relay input pin of relay connect with node MCU GPIO pin number 5. Okay, so this is what the connectivity. It's really simple. You have to connect the uh, relay pin or uh, VCC pin with the node MCU 3 volt. Then ground connect with node MCU ground pin and uh, relay input pin connect with our node MCU GPIO pin number 5. So this is what the connectivity. Now we are going to move on our Tony Python ID Raspberry Pi 4. Then we are going to configure our web server. Okay. So friends we are now on our desktop Raspberry Pi 4 ok. So I have connect our ESP8266 node MCU with our Raspberry Pi 4 ok. Also I have assigned the IP address to our node MCU ESP8266 ok. If you don't know how to connect ESP8266 with your router I have already made the video how to connect ESP8266 with the router for assign the IP address ok then I have flashed the firmware our MicroPython firmware inside our node MCU ESP8266 ok so open the Tony Python IDE ok and this is what our code for uh, configuring the web socket ok so LED is equal to machine dot pin and this is what our uh, GPIO pin number 5 import socket from machine import pin ok then LED 1 and LED 2 and the pin number 16 pin number 2 ok then LED dot value then LED 1 dot value then LED 2 dot value then socket dot socket this is what the IP address of our node MC USP8266 and this is what the port the port number 80 ok then this is what the HTML code ok friends and this is what the buttons as you can see on 1 2 on and same for the off 1 2 and LED off ok if you want to add the more buttons you have to simply copy this line this single one line ok friends copy it and you need to just paste down here ok friends ok like this way paste and then you need to increase the number of course so LED 3 same for the off button don't change anything then just change the numbers ok LED 2 and just change it with LED 3 ok so now if you want to add more pin again copy the line and paste and just change with LED 4 and for on also you have to change with LED 4 ok so same for here LED dot 4 value and LED 4 machine pin and you have to mention the pin and pin dot out ok same then here also friends LED on LED off on off on off ok here also you have to copy like this way copy it and paste and just you have to change the number ok so LED 2 mention 3 or 4 or 5 you want to mention you want to just add the numbers for the increasing buttons ok so LED 4 LED 4 and here you have to also change with LED 4 and LED 4 that's it ok friends so I am going to delete now then 
from here also in if session you have to simply same thing you have to copy the code copy it and just paste and then just increase the number 3 3 here also 3 and 3 ok so if you want to add more 4 4 and for off also 4 and 4 ok so this is the way you can add the more GPIO pins ok friends I am going to just mention two because I have mentioned here a two LED two as our variable. Okay, so uh, this is what our code prints and easy to add more uh, buttons. You have to just copy the line and just increase the numbers. Okay, so I will mention the code. Okay, friends. So now, friends, we are we are done and we are going to run our code. Okay, friends. So friends as you can see this is what our relay which connect with node MC USB at 266 okay and this is what our buttons okay so now simply if I click on on and as you can see our relay is on okay as you can see the green LED is on if I click off it's off again click on it's on click off it's off now we are going to see our onboard LED okay so simply click on as you can see the LED is on, off, is off, on, another onboard LED on and off, it's off. So this is the way our code is work. So I hope you will learn something from this video and you also create your NodeMCU ESP8266 web server using MicroPython. We will meet our next video till then. Thank you. Take care and bye bye.